All right, let's try checkboxes, the next type of button, or check button as it's actually called. Uh, here is the um, the uh, worksheet that we've been uh, playing with, uh, and uh, there's the radio buttons. I have added text to the two labels here. Um, so that they they'll be visible all the time. If there's uh, normally they have a transparent background. If there's no text in there, you don't see them, which can be confusing. Uh, so I just added the words label one and label two. And the first one still has the red uh, emphatic uh, text. I think it was emphasis text in there. Uh, you can change that with the edit attributes, of course, uh, but there's uh, no particular need to. Anyway, so they have lab initial labels in there. They'll be visible, in other words, when the program comes up. So we want to add a checkbox. Now, checkboxes are uh, a different sort of button. Uh, radio buttons are actually built on top of checkboxes, radio buttons being grouped buttons. And when you uh, click on one, another one clicks off. Uh, they're into a group. But checkboxes are independent of one another, so uh, they don't have that characteristic. So what we do is we go to Control, and we go to check button and we drop it in here and it's going to be very similar to the previous one um, they're quite similar I'll take it down in size I'll go back here and I'll give it a name once again I've already written the code I need to keep the name the same uh, so uh, the text you put in here is up to you the text can be multi-line and there's a lot of options there you can play with them uh, they're not uh, in and of themselves very complicated. I don't know where to, where to actually put it. Well, there's a check. You can see the check going in there. I'm looking to figure out where uh, on packing. These start at 240. Doesn't really matter. I'll make that 240 and I'll bring it up a little bit. They're not related. They just happen to be near one another. But I want to keep the screen kind of compact uh, so I don't have a lot of uh, information on it. All right. Um, Let's see, the common signals is usually nothing uh, you need to play with here. Um, you can, of course. The important thing is they have to give it a name, uh, give it some text as to what you want to have. You, there, you'll notice there's no grouping. Whereas with the radio buttons, we had um, group. See the group here? I clicked on one of the radio buttons. Whereas check buttons, there's no group. Uh, they're all independent. All right, signals, that's the other thing. And uh, check buttons are basically toggled. Um, <laughs> they're turned on or they're turned off. Um, so uh, you go down here, it's going to be on check one toggled. And that's going to be the callback function. Okay, so we save that and we bring up um, the code and uh, um, what I call it. I'm still using the name part1.c and, and this will be uh, loaded up to my web page. So I didn't change it to part three or something. There is check one. I've already added it. Um, there's the widget for the box, and I called it check one, so I have a widget named check one. Further down here, um, I have uh, check one um, pulling it out of the builder, pulling it out of the XML files, and um, it's uh, the same as the ones above it. The UPS truck has decided to park outside, but anyway. Um, all right, um, so that's again, it's very, it becomes quite repetitive. Uh, you do the same things a lot for all of these. And finally, down the bottom, um, I have my uh, callback function on check one toggled, and I receive a, a GTK check button. Um, the GTK check button comes in, and uh, basically, it's the same as the radio buttons because a radio button is a check button, and a check button is a toggle button. Um, so they're all on top of one another. Um, so the same code will work. So again, I get active. Um, get the is the button active? And the B I'm passing, of course, if you're here, it's it's the um, one associated with the check button. And if it's true, then it's active. If it's um, if it's false, then it's not active. And I put both of them into the same label, into label one, because they're not. Uh, it's it's a binary situation. Uh, whereas with the radio buttons, you were going from one to another, and I put them into separate labels to make it a little clearer. Uh, but with the check buttons, it's just a binary situation on a single button. Um, other buttons can be in there, but they're binary and they're unrelated to one another. Now, what you do when you get into one of these callbacks is up to you. What checking that button means is what you intend it to mean. It could uh, add some value to a data structure. It could, uh, you could, with the system function, you could initiate an activity in the background, any number of things. It's whatever your application happens to be. Um, but anyway, there it is. Um, and I'll exit out of that and again compile. And to run it, 
there you see it. Uh, there's my label. See, they're visible now. Uh, they were always there. They just had they had no text. They had transparent backgrounds, so you didn't see them. You can remove the transparent background, and you would then see the whole box of the label. That's just a um, a parameter in the um, edit the attributes. Okay, so uh, the radio buttons, but there's the check button. It's unchecked. Uh, there is a function to start it off checked, by the way. Um, so you could, before you actually bring up the screen, before you show the window, you could have told the system to um, check the box. Um, so it comes up unchecked, but that's that's something you can uh, play around with. I think it might even be possible from the Glade, I'm not sure, uh, to set it as initially checked. Anyway, there I do. Uh, you can see it goes to check one is active. In other words, it's been checked. If I click it again, you, you see it receives the inactive signal. It gets um, it, it, in any time I check this, regardless of its state, that callback function is going to be called. Now the callback function f then determines what has happened. Has the box been checked or has the box been unchecked? And every time I do it, you'll see it's a different situation. Uh, so there you are, check buttons. So we got radio, we got regular buttons, we got radio buttons, we got check buttons.